chair yoga. We're going to sit, we're going to sit and stand, and then we're going to stand. It'll be a short little workout, about 10 minutes. So something that all of us um, can make time for in our day. So get a chair and come in and have a seat. Um, oh, and I'm really sorry. That is really dark. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me see if I come and tap it. This is pretty crazy, but we're going to try. I don't know why my spacing is off today. Okay, now that you got to see me all super up close. Okay, well, we're just going to make it work, and I apologize in advance. I've done these with the chair before, and I'm not sure what I have going on wrong. But anyhow, let's have a seat. You know, that's what happens in real life, right? Things just don't go right all the time, and that's totally okay. So have a seat, preferably with no shoes on if you can, um, and your feet about hip distance apart, and really make sure you can feel them on the floor. And then let's roll our shoulders. Inhale up and exhale down. Good. And repeat that. Inhale up and exhale down. So a lot of us, we hold tension and tightness in the neck and the shoulders, and that's just natural. The shoulders also tend to round forward for a lot of us. And this is going to help counterbalance that. And then let them settle down the back. So feel your shoulders just sink onto the back ribs. Good. Nice and easy. Turn your head one way. And then bring it back. And turn your head the other way. And bring it back. Good. Now take an ear towards the shoulder. We're going to pause here. Ear towards the shoulder. Good. Breathing here. And then maybe if you're looking for a little more stretch, whichever way your head went, the opposite hand just comes down to hang beside you. There you go. So there's no pressure in this hand or arm, just giving a little more weight to my stretch in my neck. Good. And then bring the hand back if you put it down and bring the head back to center. Whew, take your time. Go the other way. So the ear towards the shoulder. Yep. Breathing here. Not rushing, and we could totally stay here, or maybe that opposite hand comes and it hangs down to the side, and we breathe here. Good, and then bring the head, oh, bring the hand back first, and then bring the head back. Good, all right. Bring the chin to the chest, so chin comes down. Bring the hands gently to the heart. And then interlace the fingers. And there's a way your hand wants to go. See if you can undo that and go your less dominant way. And then the knuckles come forward, the chin drops more, elbows go a little bit wide, and we get a stretch across the back. And we breathe here. Good. And then bring the hands in, press the palms down, inhale, scoop the arms up, lift the head, maybe look up. Exhale, and we bring them down. And we'll let that repeat a couple times. Good, so we're warming up the shoulders a little bit more, warming up the arms and the wrists a little bit more. And one more. And then pause up here, shoulders relax down, and we're gonna make this a very gentle twist. Let your hands come apart, and then carefully turn to one side and let the hands float down. One maybe to the front leg, one maybe to the chair behind you, or you might do two to the front leg, that totally works. And depending on your chair, if you have a low back chair or a folding chair, you might put your back arm on the back of the chair. Let your head continue to look over your shoulder as much as you are comfortable. All right, one more breath here. And then just gently let it float back to center. Good, we're gonna go the other side. So bring the hands together. Maybe that less dominant lace again. Bring the knuckles forward, tuck the chin, take a breath or two here. Okay, and then the hands are coming in. Press the palms down, inhale, scoop the arms up. Good, exhale, take them down. And let that repeat. We'll go three, so we have one more. And then pause, relax the shoulders. Now our twist goes the other way. So release the hand, turn to your new direction and let your hands float down. And you might do two hands to the front leg 
You might take the second hand to the chair, or depending on the chair, to the back of the chair. And we breathe here. All right, one more breath. And then gently we unwrap. Excellent, roll the shoulders and slide towards the end of the chair and widen the legs. Good, and then now we're gonna come forward and you might just come to hands, you might come to elbows, and that's as far as we're going today. Lengthen through the spine, tuck the chin, breathe here. One more breath here. And come on up. Walk the feet in. All right, so we are going to stand up. Feet are about hip distance apart. Hands come to the thighs. Lean forward the long spine. Push into the hands and stand all the way up. Okay, we are going to sit and stand three times. It's okay if you don't sit all the way back. It's also very okay if you do. If three is too many for you today, do two. Do one. It's okay. So feet are hip distance apart. All right, shoulders are down and back. We're gonna slide our hips way to the back, bend at the knees, and have a seat. And then up we go. And you can use hands on the thighs, or maybe hands come forward. And up we go. All right, you got one more. Let's sit and stand. Excellent. All right, we're almost finished. Bring your chair and turn it so that um, the back of the chair is to one side or the other for you. Stand in your Tadasana. So we wanna feel the feet very even on the earth. We want to feel the inner edge of the foot, the outer edge of the foot. The legs are strong, belly is in, shoulders are down and back. You might keep that hand on the chair or you might let go. See how that feels. Okay, next we are gonna lean forward. First the feet stay flat. Lean forward though until you feel that your toes and the balls of the foot are holding you and my legs are strong so that I don't stumble or fall over. Good, and then lean back in the middle. Find middle, and now lean back the other way. Squeeze the belly in, and you might need to hold on. My toes start to feel light. There's weight in the heels, and I'm still very strong here. Good. Now let's change that. Come all the way up on the toes. So you might need a hand on your chair, or you might do hands on the hips. And all the way up, lifting the toes, and maybe lifting the ball of the foot. And let's do that two more times. Up high on the toes, and back, and up and back. So that's something easy you could do standing in the kitchen or while you're brushing your teeth. All right, last part, a little tiny bit more balance. So feel both feet nice and settled. It doesn't matter which leg, slide a leg forward, okay? Weight is more centered on my standing leg, bend the knee. And then if we can, we are gonna heel and toe. You can tap, tap if you need to, or if it feels like a good challenge, heel and toe out in the air there. Good, hold on if you need to. One more time, and then we're gonna slide it in. All right, feet nice and even, because we gotta do the other side. Shift the weight, hold on if you need to, and slide the other foot forward. Look, you know I didn't say the first time, look to the floor, I like to look to the floor for my focal point. And you could heel toe here, if it feels right, heel toe up in the air. Good, breathing. And one more time. And then step that foot down and we're gonna end in Tadasana. So find both feet nice and settled. Shoulders down and back. So we're all at our checkup and we are as tall as we were last year. Pause here, just a moment. And there you go. There is some Monday morning yoga minutes for you. Short and sweet, um, I hope that you feel wonderful. Give, uh, give us a comment, give us a like, give us a love, a little thumbs up, a little heart. Um, let us know that you're watching. Thank you so very much, and we'll see you next time.